In the lower left hand portion of the application interface you're going to see eight performance pads. The performance pads can be used for two purposes. One is to play preset chord combinations and the other purpose is to trigger the arpeggiator which is part of the TRIP virtual analog synthesizer. And so far neither of the two sounds that we have loaded take advantage of the performance pads. In other words, if we click on the first slot here with the organ, we see that the pads have not been assigned. And the same is true of the piano. So what we're going to do is go to the first slot and let's load in a sound that has some performance pads already assigned. So I'm going to go to the synth pad category and an analog pad and then let's scroll through here until we see this one called Joshua Pad. I'm going to double click on that and now you'll see that the performance pads have lit up. So pad number one has a C chord assigned to it as well as a trigger note. And I'll show you how to do these in just a moment. But if we were to click and play the pads now just using our mouse we'd hear the chords that are assigned to each pad. And something else you'll notice on the keyboard in the performance section is that some of the notes have turned blue. These blue indications reveal the key that is assigned to the pad to play the chord. So now what we can do is play those notes and hear the chords from our MIDI keyboard. So let's look at the keyboard right now. What I'm going to do is play the notes on the lower portion of the keyboard here. Uh, the chords themselves are assigned to C, D, G, and F right here. So if I play this note, which is C0, then I'll hear the chord. So those pads have already been assigned to trigger notes, but now let's program two more pads with new trigger notes as well. So I'm going to go to the fifth pad right here and I'm going to right or control click on it and then I'm going to choose snapshot chord and now the pad will glow orange and now what it's doing is waiting for me to play a chord that the pad will then remember. So I'm going to play in a C sus4. Then I'm going to click on the pad to complete the chord assignment. But you'll notice that it doesn't say the name, so what I'm going to do is right or control click on it again and choose rename pad. And this will be C sus4. And then I'm going to give it a trigger note. So what I'm going to do is assign that pad to G0 on the keyboard here. So when I right or control click on the pad, I can go to assign trigger note. If I know what note I want to use, I can select it from this list. Or I can choose learn trigger note, and then I can just play that note in from my MIDI keyboard. So now when I play G0 on my keyboard, it will play that C sus4. Let's do one more quickly. I'm going to right or control click on the sixth pad and choose snapshot chord, and I'm going to play in a C major 7. Then click on the pad to complete the assignment, and then I'm going to right or control click again, choose learn trigger note, and now I'm going to play in either from the MIDI keyboard or from the performance keyboard right here on this A0, and that will assign the MIDI note to this pad, and I'm going to give it a name of C major 7. Now I'm going to move the octave of my keyboard up here a little bit so that you can actually see the notes that I'm playing to play this chord progression. So I'm going to start here on this C, which is actually C0 now that my keyboard is transposed, and let's play through that chord progression. So that's how to use the performance pads to play chords. Next let's talk about how to trigger arpeggios.